lovely spotted yellow beast racing through the open feast knowing ben and bear to hunt claws are ready for their final jump they hunt their victim with speed and grace showing their agility on this open space and when their young ones have passed the test only then will chita lay to rest india on 17 september 2022 welcomed eight african cheetah from namibia africa as a part of cheetah restoration project so this reintroduction of five female and three male cheetah cub is part of india's 90 crore cheetah introduction project this is first time ever in the world that large carnivore like cheetah has been relocated from one continent to another carnivore like cheetah are known to dominate food web they help in maintaining balance of ecosystem and are also popular flag bearer for conservation cheetah reintroduction in india has a larger goal of reestablishing ecological function in indian grassland that was lost due to extinction of cheetah in the past so total of 8 cheetah have been introduced in kuno national park of madhya pradesh india kuno national park is spread over 750 km square and it is home to sizable population of herbivores like antelope spotted deer and nilgai thereby it offer ample prey population for cheetah to survive india is known as historic range of cheetah reintroduction of cheetah in india is a strong step to restore original cheetah habitat and biodiversity now let us try to look at reasons why cheetah became extinct in india So the question is why cheetah went extinct from India so why and how cheetah went extinct in India has been matter of great debate some people attribute extinction of cheetah with various reasons for example hunting of cheetah loss of habitat and unavailability of prey surprisingly in India cheetah have been domesticated as hunting animal for years in 1613 Mughal emperor Jahangir had recorded instances of cheetah breeding in captivity as a result of this breeding process cheetah cub were repeatedly caught in their natural habitat and this led to reduction of cheetah population in wild during the rule of akbar there were only 10000 cheetah left in the country further in 1799 till um, 1968 it is recorded that at least 230 cheetah were left in india but after india's independence it has been clear that the remaining last few cheetahs were shot down in sal forest of korea chatisgarh and also in parts of central and deccan region in india and this is how population of cheetah became extinct in india now obvious question that is strike our mind is about the current status of cheetah population So as per IUCN red data list cheetah is categorized as vulnerable in the world cheetah population used to be present earlier in parts of India Pakistan Afghanistan Saudi Arabia and parts of Africa but now cheetah have been extinct from majority of its historical range as depicted in red color only places where cheetah are found are places like Iran and parts of africa like namibia which are indicated with brown color in this map india has brought a cheetah from namibia africa on 17th september 2022 now the proponents of cheetah reintroduction have very strong arguments in favor of this scheme so benefits from reintroducing cheetah in india are following number 1 it will help in ensuring viable population of cheetah in india So reintroducing cheetah would restore non-vacant ecological niche and will truly play a significant step in maintaining viable population of cheetah. Second, ecological balance. So while carnivores like leopard, tiger, lion they attack closest animal to them as prey, irrespective of fitness level. But cheetah specialize in picking those animals which are weakest and therefore they help in maintaining prey population healthy by selectively feeding on the sickest individual cheetah population will also help india to gain long term economic benefits through ecotourism introduction of cheetah in india will overall increase biodiversity of the country 
Cheetah population cannot be successful without awareness program. So to attain the goal of conservation of cheetah, government has already roped in volunteers to raise awareness about cheetah project. These volunteers are also known as cheetah mitra. So definitely, cheetah will help in sensitizing human towards wild animals. But however, cheetah reintroduction program has also faced criticism from section of society. Let us now understand reasons behind controversy related to cheetah reintroduction. Now much of the controversy relates to the concern that native but endangered species are being overshadowed by foreign cheetahs. African cheetahs are not even mentioned in our national wildlife action plan but they are being prioritized over other species like great Indian bustard and Asiatic loin. Second, the narrative that cheetah are coming back to India is technically incorrect. What once roamed in India was actually Asiatic cheetah. But what now we are introducing is African cheetah. African cheetah is not mentioned in national conservation priority of the country and is even considered as exotic. Confusion regarding introduction of cheetah can also be understood by the fact that in 2013 Supreme Court itself had put the plan on hold, noting that Kuno National Park of Madhya Pradesh, India was not historical habitat for African cheetah and stressing the need of protecting those species which are present within the country like Asiatic loin. In 2020, Supreme Court however changed its tune. It accepted an argument that cheetah can be introduced on experimental basis in chosen habitat. So the decision to introduce cheetah in the national park will further delay translocation of loyans for at least 15 more years. Not only this, some people also argue that cheetah reintroduction will prove to be the case of misplaced priority for carnivore conservation in India. Project Tiger Scheme, which is an ongoing scheme to protect India's national animal tiger, will face resource crunch. Project Tiger had to sacrifice substantial amount of money to feed Cheetah project. In fact, around 387 million rupees from Project Tiger have been allocated for Cheetah reintroduction. Not only Tiger, but even conservation of Asiatic Lion will be affected with Cheetah reintroduction. Asiatic Lion are only restricted to Gujarat state of India. Kuno National Park, which was considered as a suitable site for maintaining population of loyan, is now being used for introducing cheetah. So the decision to introduce cheetah in Kuno will further delay translocation of loyans by at least 15 years. Kuno National Park is also the site for tigers. Some people argue that cheetah introduction will result in fierce competition between tigers and cheetah. So this could affect survival rate of cheetah. It is expected that established population of 21 cheetah will be there by the end of 15 years. Now this just the population of 21 cheetah is relatively very small and is not going to be enough to play any significant ecological role in India for conserving grassland and open forest ecosystem. So this will be the first time that carnivores such as cheetah will be considered through relocation from one continent to another. Though animals history in the country is one spotted with hunting, captivity and conflict. But hopefully reintroduction this year promises hope for survival of cheetah in Indian territory.